Hey, what's up everyone? St. R. Edwards here. Welcome back to the Ski Channel, Swift Coding for Everyone. We're on to lesson 2.8 in the book, App Development with Swift. In this lesson, we're gonna talk about displaying data. So go ahead and start your Xcode. We're gonna create a new project called Hello. So go down here to your Xcode icon in your doc, click on it. And we're gonna to go to Project, Single View App, and you can just name it hello. We're going to click next, save it to our projects folder. And there we go. All right. So this app is going to be just very, very simple, very basic. But uh, one of the things that you need to do if you haven't done it already is make sure you have a selfie image of yourself on your computer or any image of yourself for that matter, so we can import that into our project. This project is just gonna be about you. So what you're gonna do is, is you're gonna use a few labels. You know, we learned about those in the last few lessons. And, you know, and we're also gonna use an image view to display an image, right? And so this is what we're gonna do in 2.8, just so we can kind of get used to working with these different uh, UI elements. All right, so I'm here set up now. So go ahead and go to your main dot storyboard. And I'm gonna close the document outline for now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the assets folder and I'm gonna import my photo that I have of myself, my selfie. All right, and so it is in my projects folder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open that real quick and I'm just gonna drag it in there. And you can do the same thing. If you have it saved to your desktop, all you have to do is just drag it into this folder. So I'm gonna open this up real quick. All right, there I go. So I'm gonna just drag it in here. All right, cool. If I resize this again, you guys see all that? All right. All right, awesome. Back to our main dot storyboard. All right, so one of the first things you wanna do is when you're, you know, think about being a developer is you wanna have your app planned out. Now, a lot of the times what you wanna start off by doing is if you don't have a designer that you're working with, is you basically just wanna write it out. You wanna draw it out on a piece of paper or whatever your favorite program is that you can use on your computer. And so, you know, this is a basic app. So, you know, what we wanna do is basically display our name. You know, think about that. How, how would you display your name in a static way? You know, something that, you know, can't be manipulated, something that, you know, the user yourself aren't able to do when an app is running, right? So think about that. You know, what uh, UI element would you use to display your name? What UI element would you use to display an image of yourself? All right, and then again, you know, what else would you use to display just a few sentences about yourself? You know, your name, where you're from, you know, what your goals are, what you like to do, anything. So that's what we're gonna kind of go through in this lesson. So I'm gonna start off by searching for label in our objects library. And I wanna drag that to the top. What you wanna do is you wanna pay attention to the blue outline guides because you know they help us center our, our elements and they also allow us to not um, get too close to the, to the top. I'm gonna to actually change mine to an iPhone X. So that's another thing. So make sure whatever, you know, whatever device you plan on, on on running your app on, you also make sure that you're actually designing for it in the storyboard. It'll just help make it a lot easier. All right, so you have that consistency. So I'm gonna change my simulator to iPhone X as well. You can do the same. So you can choose any device you want to. So I'm gonna design for the iPhone X. Um, so I'm gonna resize this. Uh, and make sure you don't get too close to the status bar. See, at the top right now, I've got the crossbars up. So I'm in the center of the device, and I'm also at the top to where um, I am not touching the status bar. As you can see, the blue lines 
you know, tell me that. I'm also going to take my label and I'm going to stretch it out to either side of the screen. There's a blue line that popped up on the left side right there. And then there's going to be another one on this right side. I'm going to make sure it stops there. All right. I'm also going to make the label a little bit wider because I know that I want my name to appear a little bit larger. All right. So I'm going to go about, I'll go about a height of 80. All right. So I'll release it there. And then I'm going to go over to the attributes inspector and see, um, and see what I can do as far as getting some, changing some custom uh, things about my uh, about my label. All right. So I want to do. I don't want to use the system font. Um, so what I would do is, is I'm going to click on this T over here for the font for the text and all that, and I'm going to go up to custom. You can do the same. So it goes to Helvetica New. I'm actually going to use the example that they used in the book. I've never used this before, but um, it's called here is Gino Sans. So I'm going to use that. And uh, right now it's in W3, the style. I'm going to also use the same one they use in the book. The W6 is a little bit, it's a little bit bolder. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to resize it to make it a little bit bigger. I'll say about, I'm going to use my nickname. So I'll go 40. Uh, Let's see, 50. 50 is good enough. So I'm going to go 50 for mine. You can resize yours to whatever you like. And I'm going to just put in here, I'm going to put ski in here. I'm going to align it to the center. The text is going to be to the center. So I'm going to hit the align button over here in the attributes inspector. All right. And then I'm going to hit enter. Then it'll update. Got that. Awesome. Now the next thing I want to do is... I want to add an image view to my device, all right? Because I want to make sure I display the image that I imported into the assets folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search again in the objects library and I'm going to pull the image view out here toward the top. I want to make sure the spacing is okay. So that's the bottom of my label. Now I'm in the center of the screen. As you can see, the blue lines, the blue dots popping up. So I'm gonna drag it down just a little bit. I'll go by right here and I'll make it a little, I'll, I'll make the image view itself a little larger. I'll go to about, about 180. I'm also gonna extend it to the edges of the screen. All right, so make sure you know, the, you know, the auto layout, the uh, blue lines, you know, really, you know, what helps us, the uh, guidelines, you know, really help you. So make sure you use the tools that are available to you. All right. So with the image view still selected, now all you have to do is you'll go over here and you'll hit this drop down button. And then I named mine selfie. So I'm just going to click on selfie. And as you can see right now, the aspect or the content mode is scale to fill. So as you can see, it's a little bit stretched out, you know, it looks a little odd. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the drop down over here in the content mode and I'm going to try aspect fit to see how that looks. All right. So that kind of resized it. As you can see, the, you know, the frame uh, of the image view is, is out here, but, you know, my photo is kind of, you know, kind of cut it off a little short. So I'm going to try to use aspect fill, see how that looks. All right, so now, so now you can see that the, you know, the image itself went outside of the bounds of the frame, right? So, so at the top and uh, on the bottom, you can see that it, you know, it's going outside the bounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here under the attributes inspector with the image still selected, and I'm going to go clip to bounds. So now it won't go outside of the blue lines for our image view. So I'll click on that. All right, there you go. So you can do that or you could, um, you know, you could change it to a different, you know, different content mode for you if you like. Yeah, I like aspect feel. I'm going to stick with aspect feel, even though it kind of, it gets a little closer. What I could do is that. Yeah. So I made a little, so I stretched my image out a little bit more. So now it's at 220. I'll just drag it down a little bit more. All right, cool. There we go. So it looks a lot better.
All right. And now as far as the label goes, and uh, let me backtrack a little bit. So the same thing can happen to your your label up here. So if you didn't make your label large enough, um, the same thing can happen with your you know your name, your label. It, it can look like it's being clipped. Uh, so you can either do two things. You can either reduce the size of your font, or you can make the label a little bit larger. So if it was cutting it off, just like it was in the image just a second ago, you can just drag you know drag these down a little bit to make your label a little bit larger. And I'll fix that problem for you. All right. So another thing is, is that you, you want to drag another label onto the screen to say a few, you know, just a couple sentences about ourselves. So I'm going to do the same thing like we did up there for the label for our, for the name. Dragged it to both edges to where the blue line start to appear. I'll make it a little bit larger. All right. I'll go about... Uh, I'll go 80 here too. I'm going to also update the font to match what we have for our title. Stick with the consistency of the title. So I'm going to go here with Gino Sands. And then I'll stay with W3 uh, for this for this style. You know, it's not, it doesn't have to be bold for that. But I may increase the font size. I'll go about... I'll go 19, I'll go 20. All right, here we go, 20 is a good one. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say a few sentences about myself. So I'll just say, my name is Ski, I love spending time with family. Swift and teaching it. All right, you can say whatever you want to about yourself. But whoa, so my label went totally off the screen. So what happened here? So I'm going to drag this back. I'm going to keep it there. And as you can see right now, I have a I have a, another bit of an issue. So. I want this to appear on more than one line, right? And so as you can see right now in the attributes inspector with it highlighted, it's only showing one line. Well, if I go to two, if I increase it to two, it's okay, it's, it's showing that two lines, but then if I go to three, it's fixed. Okay, so you can do that. You can also look up in the documentation for the UI label to see how you can make all of your text fit and to the label, but another thing you can do, another trick, is just to put it to zero. So instead of, you know, messing around with this, you know, this number over here, you can just go to zero and you get the same effect. So that's a little that's a little tip. All right, so we're gonna keep it there. And you may have, I don't know why mine is still indexing. This thing is going slow. Come on, next code. Anyway. So you may have some some warnings that you know that may pop up, you know, about your constraints and, and auto layout issues. Don't have to worry about that right now. We'll fix that in a later lesson. This is just something to, to get us started and to get you used to using some of the UI kit um, you know, tools that we've learned about. All right. So for now, you can just save this to your projects folder and we're gonna go on to the next lesson. This is St. R. Edwards with the Ski Channel, Swift Coding for Everyone. You guys take care.